As we head into a potential recession, people are getting laid off, budgets are contracting, and cold calling is becoming more challenging than ever. My name is Trent Russell. I've made over 50,000 cold calls in my four year software sales career. I'm currently a senior account executive, and I'm gonna help you make your next quarter your best quarter yet. If you are committed to being a top performer, punch the like button now and comment the boxer emoji below. Our goal is 15,000 subscribers, so make sure you're subscribed now as well. Cold calling is similar to boxing. Boxers are paid to get in the ring and be hit and knock out their opponents. In order to land that big shot, they need to leave themselves exposed at times to get punched in the face, which can be very painful. Cold calling is also very painful. Although it may not be physical pain, it's gonna be mental, emotional, psychological pain because you will be rejected over 95% of the time. The good news is it will get better with these four strategies that I will share with you here today to help you find more confidence and set more meetings. The first step is just getting in the ring. That's the first thing. It's one-on-one -on -one combat. In the old days, you could challenge somebody to a duel and battle them with a sword and kill them. Today, we have headsets. So you need to put on your headset, get in the mentality that, hey, it's eat or be killed, I am a hunter, I'm gonna go set my own pipeline, so let's do it. That's the mentality. Strategy number one is to know your product inside and out. Imagine if you were a survival expert and you were in the jungle and you were traversing through trees trying to get to that cliff to dive off of. And in order to get there, you needed to eat the native plants. But if you didn't know what plants you could eat that would either give you nutrients or that would kill you because they're poison, you wouldn't survive very long. And it's similar with cold calling. If you expect to set a lot of meetings so that you can promote, get the recognition you deserve, make all this money, buy the cars, you need to know your product inside and out and oftentimes our companies will enable us with all the resources we need to be successful all the answers to the test are already written down it's up to you to go find them whether it's speaking with a colleague who really knows their stuff go reading through those internal manuals books whatever it takes to know your product so that you can succinctly convey the value prop so that the customers say, yes, this is no brainer. I'm gonna take the meeting with you. Stick around until the end of the video and I'm also gonna share with you my pipeline operating rhythm that has gotten tremendous feedback from you guys in the past, exactly how many calls, emails I make day-to-day -day basis. Strategy number two is enthusiasm. Sound like you wanna be there and sound like you care. Think of your dog if you have one or if you've ever been around a dog. Maybe you're not an animal person, but if you see a dog, the dog approaches you with a smile on their face and it instantly brightens your mood because you say, they care, they care about me, they wanna see me, they got a big smile on their face, although they wanna be pet and they want the treat. It's similar to cold calling prospects. They know that you don't actually care about how their day is, but you're still gonna ask, hey, how are you anyway? I still do it. But it's all about the tone, pitch, and flexion. That comes with time. But what you can control is sounding like you care, sounding like you wanna be there, sound like you were there to make their day better. And ultimately, the reason you have confidence calling is because you believe your product or service is gonna help them be more successful so that they can look better at their company, so that they can make more money, save money, mitigate risk. And then that will help you set more meetings and it all starts with the enthusiasm and actually caring to be there. The third strategy is to deeply understand your industry, the competition, so that you can ask the best questions possible. And at the end, I'll share part of my cold calling script and it involves asking an open-ended leading question that leads them to the outcome that makes them think that your solution that you're trying to sell them here today is actually a priority for them. So the better you understand not only your competitors, but your company's positioning in the market, what's going on, the better you're gonna be able to articulate value in the context of why that matters specifically for that prospect or customer. And then fourth and finally is tracking your metrics. And I'm about to get into the pipeline operating rhythm, but ask yourself, what does a successful day look like? It's about 7 p.m., I'm still in the office, but what I do is I'm able to clearly say, yes, no, it's binary. Have I won the day or not? And that's something we talk about at our sales development department here in my company is win the day. And it starts with, okay, what does a win look like? And then how do you start stacking wins and winning more days rather than losing days? And it all starts with deeply understanding your metrics. And I'm gonna go write that on a board behind me right here in one of these conference rooms. Behind me on that whiteboard are the two key metric frameworks that have allowed me to promote six times in my software sales career and 4X my income. Beginning with Moneyball metrics, this is your cold call efficiency. It starts with answer rate, set rate, show rate, conversion rate, and then additionally, 
pipeline operating rhythm. This is my patented eight point a day system that allows you to actually track the activities that lead to maximum success and answering the question, have I won the day today, yes or no? If you are interested in a deeper understanding of breakdown than we're able to go in today's video, hit the join button down below for access to our private members community. Over 31 members today, you'll have access to our private members discord. I answer all questions 24 seven. And we also do a weekly live stream that I lead that I answer all of your questions and share what's top of mind for me to help you crush the week ahead. I'd love to see you in there. Beginning with Moneyball metrics, this is your cold call efficiency. And when you take the four strategies we began with, when you're in the ring, when you begin punching, you need to take a lot of action. And let's say you make a thousand cold calls in a month, right? So you have answer rate, set rate, show rate, and conversion rate. Your answer rate is of those thousand calls, how many people actually answer the phone. Your set rate is of those live conversations, how many meetings do you actually set up? Your show rate is of those meetings you set on the phone that they agree to, how many actually show up? And then finally, conversion rate. Of those completed meetings, how many meetings convert into qualified pipeline opportunities? A good answer rate is gonna be around 6%. A good set rate is gonna be about 15%. A good show rate is gonna be about 80%. And then finally, a good conversion rate is gonna be about 90%. So if you make a thousand outbound cold calls and you have a 6% answer rate, that's gonna be about 60 live conversations, right? And if you have a 15% set rate, that's gonna to lead to about 15% of 60, what is that, 15-ish actual set meetings? I'm not a math major. Of those 15 set meetings, let's say, you have a show rate of 80%, so you're gonna have eight, nine people show. And then finally, with the 90% conversion rate, probably gonna have around seven-ish, seven and a half qualified opportunities. So if we take that funnel and say, let's make a thousand cold calls, we will actually have seven qualified opportunities at the end of it. So it's a basic math game. Okay, if I need to set 15 meetings in a month, if I need to qualify $200,000 of pipeline, I just need to make 2,000 calls. It's just a basic numbers game. Or I could figure out which of these Moneyball metrics can I become more efficient at in order to say, hey, maybe I make a thousand calls, but my answer rate is 10% and my set rate's 50%. And all of a sudden I'm making 20 calls a month and I'm hitting my quota, which would be amazing. The pipeline operating rhythm, nobody has ever missed their quota that has consistently hit eight points a day. And what I mean by points is there are specific activities that lead to the best outcomes. A lot of reps think I'll make a million calls and I'll be successful. And that's how I used to think as an SDR early in my career. But in reality, it's just a vanity metric. It's a productivity virtue signal. Of, I made a lot of calls today, so I did a lot of work. What you ought to be tracking are the actual metrics that track productivity. And each metric has an associated point value with it. So on my own personal point tracking system, the first column is per 10, we call them mines, per 10 new prospects added to my sequence, that is one point. Per five sent custom emails, that is one point. Per one actual live conversation with a prospect on a cold call, that is one point. Per one live set meeting, that is one point. Per one qualified opportunity, that's one point. Uh, so we have prospects, prospects added to sequence, emails sent, live conversations, set meetings, um, qualified opportunities. And then the final column is self-development. I'm not always as consistent with this as I need to be. So I do self-development slash LinkedIn post. I'm incredibly active on LinkedIn. So if we're not, not already connected, go connect with me now. But those are the ways to earn points. So if you add 20 new prospects to sequence, that's two points. If you have two live conversations, that's two points. If you have, if you set one meeting, that's one point. So you're already at five points. So ask yourself, how can you consistently get to eight points per day? And I will say, I miss a lot of days. I'm in the red way more than I need to be. Someone in my stock market portfolio. If you are constantly in the green each and every day, there's no way you'll ever miss quota because you'll always have enough pipeline. And if you're interested in using the exact pipeline framework that I use, that I actually fill out of my spreadsheet, press the join button below and I'll absolutely get that to you as soon as possible. For those of you watching at this point in the video, thank you so much for the support. I don't actually wear the headset around my neck at all times. It's just for the outro of this video. It is 7.25 p.m. I don't just preach it, I practice it as well. I'm about that late night grind in the office, putting in the extra work. 
Think about this before we wrap up. There's basically infinite money out in this world. If you lose one deal, that's one account, one prospect, there's 8 billion people on the earth. If you lose out on one promotion, you say, oh, I lost out on XYZ money. They're printing trillions of dollars. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of money out there. Somebody's gonna get it. So why not you? I'm gonna go get mine and I wanna help you go get yours as well. I really hope you found this video useful. Have a great rest of your day. Signing off, bye.